This message is produced by truthfromgod.com, which is one of hundreds of messages that can be read, heard, and watched at truthfromgod.com. Schools are slaying society. Published in the Battle Axe, issue 116, September 1977. The American family unit upon which society is built is completely disintegrating, and this article will prove that schools are responsible. It is sad indeed that parents have been so propagandized that they believe that school is the most important event in the lives of their children. Without realizing it, Parents allow the school to completely dominate all family activities. How many times have you heard people say, oh, we can't because the children have to go to school? This even consumes most of the parents' time and all the children's. The average day begins at 6.30 a.m. with clothing, feeding, and transporting of the children to school. They do not return until around 4.30 p.m., which is in time to get ready for supper, and after several hours of homework, it's time for bed. The family's entire routine is a mad rush centered around the school. As if these daily activities don't consume enough time, the school plans various social functions, which require special outlays of cash and time. There is also the full gamut of ball games and dances, which eat up still more time and money. Through monopolizing the children's time, the school replaces the family. The teachers replace the parents, and the classmates replace the brothers and sisters. Some parents blindly feel that by sending their children to school, they will be better prepared to get along with people. This is not true, since at no time will anyone's relationships ever be confined to one class where all members are the same age. It is a tragedy that the true family relationships are sacrificed for the temporary classroom associations. Children are with their teachers more than they are with their parents. Classmates have more in common with each other than they have with their own brothers and sisters. Subsequently, members of the family never learn to get along with each other this situation creates a great vacuum in the children's lives when looked back upon from adulthood. It is as if the family stopped existing during this period. All memories revolve around people that are never seen after graduation. It is no mystery that family ties do not develop during the school years, so there's nothing to hold it together in later years. The parents are assigned a unique role of provider and taxi driver during this school experience. They make great sacrifices of time and money so that their children can get a good education. It is estimated that it costs $75,000 for a child's education from grammar school through college. Because of the great expense placed upon the parents, many of the wives are having to work at jobs away from home, thus causing a further degeneration of home life. The family is always moving in as many different directions as there are members. And because of these activities, there's no time left for the family to function as a unit. Parents have become convinced that school is the most important thing in life, and everything else must take the back seat to it. 
this thing, miscalled education, has become America's golden calf. $21 billion was spent last year, 1976, for quality education, and yet there were 8,568 rapes, 11,160 armed robberies, 256,000 burglaries, over 100 killings, and 189,332 major assaults all in schools. Wake up. Quality education is a hallucination because quality has given way to quantity and education's been replaced by a brainwashing daycare. Even though there are more people in school today than ever before, there is more ignorance today than ever before. After spending 12 years in school, a high school graduate cannot read, write, and do basic arithmetic well enough to earn a living. There are an ever-increasing number of college graduates drawing unemployment. Today, this golden calf of education is worshipped by all, and daily sacrifices are made unto it, even though it has produced nothing but a mob of non-thinking, intellectually dead, government-programmed robots. Thomas Edison said that school is the greatest destroyer of minds and talent, and it will be the death of true education. Through its control of the purse strings, the government dictates an absurd curriculum. It has been so far removed from practical life that the term educated idiot is in wide use. The quality of education has forced every person through the same mold, and consequently, no one is trained according to their individual interests, talents, or abilities. There is an abundance of is taught that glorifies everything from black magic to yoga. The institutions of learning have been so perverted that the classroom has been transformed from the atmosphere of scholarship to the environment of the jungle. Noise is extolled as music. Splotches and blotches are hailed as art. Pornographic filth is called literature and senseless word garbles have become poetry. Never is any course offered which proclaims the merits of the high <laughs> There are not any classes which teach the great achievements that the <laughs> is brought into a <laughs> world. The only references to the foundations of modern culture are made in contemptible slurs which call <laughs> students to be ashamed of their great heritage. All social instruction is based on the myth of <laughs> quality and encourages copious sexual intercourse between <laughs> which has produced a batch of and an epidemic of sexually transmitted diseases. Getting high is the only meaning to life that is learned at school as the children drift aimlessly from one day to the next. The high go <laughs> have been dragged into the gutter. The Bible has been evicted from the classroom which has created a void of inspirational teachings. The students are no longer challenged to greatness, but are stripped of all imagination, initiative, 
identity, integrity, ideology, and individuality. They no longer dare to do the impossible, but are taught to pacifistically conform. The truth of the natural world is hidden from the view of these scholastics by the cloud of fantasies taught as fact. Nature is only thought of in terms of how man can change it rather than how man can live in harmony with it. The finished products of these perverted brainwashing systems are weak creatures that are neither stallions nor mares. All that is left of their inner fire is the cold ashes of death, and they are cut off from the land of the living. Our nation can stand no more. Godier said, the greatest tragedy is ignorance in action. It is time to realize that the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, Proverbs 1.4. It is time to learn that with all thy getting, get understanding, Proverbs 4.7. It is time to bring the education system into line with practical daily living. It is time to teach that only by living in harmony with nature will true blessings be experienced. It is time that men like Michelangelo, Raphael, Leonardo da Vinci begin to paint the vivid pictures of the destiny of our Others like Beethoven, Handel, and Wagner must stir the vibrant chords of music that will carry our people to the exalted heights. Authors after the order of Shakespeare, Milton, Melville, Thoreau, and Dixon must champion the great literary style which brings forth truth in its entire living spectrum. It is time to restore the natural order of society with the family primary and the school secondary. It is time that all the glories upon which our built be extolled with eternal praise while those who seek to distort and undermine are driven from our midst. This message is produced by truthfromgod.com, which is one of hundreds of messages that can be read, heard, and watched at truthfromgod.com.